Hey guys, quick one for today. We're going to learn a couple of really nifty operators that let us be a little bit lazier when we're writing our code, which is always a good thing. So let's take a look at this little code snippet. Uh, we have an int numbase. Currently it's at one. Uh, what we want to do in this next line of code is actually make numbase one bigger. Remember, assignment happens right to left. So that means the way this statement evaluates is it starts with whatever is currently in numbase, we add one to it, and then we go left and perform the assignment. So when we get to the print statements, we end up printing, you now have two bays, taking whatever was previously in numbase, adding one to it, and storing that back in numbase. Faster ways to do this. As an example, suppose we start with an int variable called a starts at 17. Uh, if we do a plus equals 3, that's the same as us doing a equals a plus 3. If we do a minus equals 3, that's the same as a equals a minus 3, and so on. We can do the same thing with a string, actually. If we start with a string s with a value high, we can go ahead and do s plus equals, and it's going to concatenate this string on to high. Another nifty thing we can do is uh, use the special increment and decrement operators. So if I start with a variable m has a value of 7, I can do m plus plus, and that's the same as m equals m plus 1. Likewise, I can do m minus minus, and that's going to be the same as m equals m minus 1. Works the same way with a double. This one is x, starts with a value of 6.4. If I do x minus minus, that's like I'm doing x equals x minus 1.0, and I'm left with a value of 5.4. You're going to use these two in particular all the time once we start working with loops a little bit more. Now, you saw x plus plus. If you use plus plus x, that actually also works. And in most situations where you're realistically going to use it, it's going to work the same way. But it's slightly different. Okay, the distinction here is plus plus x we call the pre-increment operator, and x plus plus we call the post-increment operator. The difference you want to focus on is basically this. Plus plus x, the pre-increment, it increments and then it uses the variable x plus plus uses the variable and then increments it. So that's a little confusing. Take a look at this example. If we start with two variables, both ints, x equals 5 and y equals 5, let's look first at the pre-increment. If we're printing and incrementing at the same time, well, this is the pre-increment. So it's going to first increment and then actually use the value. So here, x starts as 5, but before we actually use that, we increment it because we use the pre-increment operator. So plus plus x turns it into 6, and when we print in this print statement, we end up printing 6. Then a step later, if we print x, well, it's still 6. If I use the post-increment, which is y plus plus, okay, well, that's going to use my variable before incrementing it. So if I print this out, system.out.println y plus plus, that's going to print 5, which is the original value. Then after using it, it's going to increment. So I end up printing 6 in this second step where I just print y. Again, in most situations where you're going to realistically use these, uh, it's not going to make a huge difference. Mostly it'll just be x plus plus by itself on a single line. Uh, but uh, there is a distinction and I want you to know about it. Now you try a couple. Go ahead and rewrite these statements using the extended assignment operators and the increment and decrement operators. Uh, so pause the video right now. Write down your answers. I'll give you a second to pause. Unpause it when you've tried all of them. Okay, great. So hopefully by now you've tried these out. Let's take a look at the answers. Okay, Age equals age plus one. You could think of that as age plus plus. You could think of it as age plus equals one. And not written here, you could also think of it as plus plus age. You could use the pre-increment operator if you wanted to. Second one, power of 2 equals power of 2 times 2. Well, you can use the times equal assignment operator. Same here, you can use the concatenation uh, assignment operator. And here, i equals i minus 1. We can change that to i minus minus or i minus equals 1. Or we could actually do this as i plus equals negative 1. Same thing there. Uh, make sure you know what those additional assignment and increment decrement operators are. Make sure you can sub them in for equivalent expressions. And make sure if I give you a couple of lines of code, you can predict what the output will be.